guys, this is Avro Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you all the uh, graphic options that you have on St. Mayor Civilization 6 and how you can improve um, your gra uh, your performance without um, not like too much decrease the visual quality of the game. Uh, first of all, you have two options. You can change your graphic by the uh, <coughs> the uh, uh, notepad f uh, document or in, in the game. You don't have more options in the graphic option like the unit cycle that you can find in the user option but uh yeah it is some, some sometimes like people prefer to change it in the uh graphic option um document so uh the document is kind of nice because first of all you can see uh what the number like the meaning of each number so for example one is wait for vertical scene zero i don't mind tearing artifact so they uh they they, they add like some kind of comment that explain you what to change and what is the effect of it so it's kind of nice. So even for the number of Earths, you can change it. For example, oops, sorry, didn't find it. I just saw it. So refresh rate in Earths, as you can see. Uh, if you're in full screen mode, you can change it over there. Nice option that you can change. So after that, we will go in the game to explain you a little bit about the option that you have. First of all, make sure that you click I had uh, advanced option to see all the options that you can change. Um, first of all, if you have a good computer, just start at I and change the setting by yourself. And if you have a, like, I don't know, a medium computer or even like a really bad computer, a laptop without a proper video card or an integrated video card, start at low and change stuff by yourself. The other thing you need to know, memory and pack here, it's not about RAM, it's more about the memory of your video card. So if you have a video card with 2 gig or less, just stay at medium. And you can go higher if you have 3 gig and more if you're playing full HD. If you go higher than that, make sure that uh, you have like a minimum 4 gig on your card and more. So, let's start. First of all, vertical sync, make sure that you uncheck this. This is very important if you want to get more than uh, 60 FPS. And it's more important if you have a, um, a monitor that supports 144 Hz and stuff like that. <clears throat> okay? Same thing for frame limiter. You want to see more than 60 FPS. After that, uh, two things that you can change. Shadow and uh, water reflection. Those, I don't know why, but it's crazy. You can get a lot of FPS just to remove your shadows from the game you can get 14 fps that's a lot uh, for me it's not a, a graphic um, feature that improve a lot the, the visual of this game so honestly if you want the fps just uncheck it the other part that's really cool here is you can change the resolution of the shadow so uh, if you want to keep your shadow but you can go lower each bracket you will save four to five fps so really nice option here and it's the pretty much the same thing with the reflection okay so um reflection of the water if you don't want any reflection you can gain 10 to 12 fps just to, in changing this okay so you can check the higher quality and go to two and one and you will see a big increase on your fps this is crazy uh for terrain here you can do some testing but you will see it's not that much you will gain one to two fps depending of your um resolution but uh you will not see a big increase here even for mbm inclusion so my uh advice here is in this game honestly shadows and reflection really test that before changing anything and you will see a huge increase in your fps uh one more thing if you have like really bad fps too and tlazing this one is a big one but you will see a big decrease in your visual graphic so this one just wait before changing it but uh if you disable it you will see uh, maybe a gain of 10 fps but uh, as i like i said you will see uh, the, the visual and the graphic quality of your game will be uh not that great so that's about it guys if you have any question just comment in the youtube section and post me or your rig so video car ram cpu etc and i will uh, give you advice so what you can change and what you can improve uh to, to have better graphic in it. So um, that's about it. Peace, guys. Bye.